Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, first off, uh, I now have 104 subscribers, so that's a bit of a milestone for me. Thank you for, for everyone for subscribing, that's great. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to display performance statistics uh, whilst you're playing a game. So to do that we're going to use a program called MSI Afterburner and that will show your computer performance in the left hand side of the screen whilst you're playing the game. Most of what you're going to learn today are the basics and from there you can experiment yourself, change uh, fonts, things like that. If you find the video useful or interesting, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. So first off, you'll want to uh, launch a web browser of your choice and search for MSI Afterburner in Google. Go to MSI Afterburner and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Download MSI Afterburner. When it opens, drag the file or unzip it to another folder and then launch it by double clicking. Go through the setup process as normal. Remember to install River Tuner. Once it's installed, you can run MSI Afterburner. First, go to the settings and click on the monitoring tab. Here you will be listed with all the monitoring graphs that you're able to use. If they have a tick on the left, then that means that you are able to use them. If it's not there, then simply tick it. To show it in game, click on show in on screen display and you can select the text, graph or both text and graph. You can then override the group name with, for example, the name of your GPU. This means that anything with the same group name will be referred, will be grouped together on the on-screen display. In my case, the GTX 1070. You can do this for each one you would like to be displayed. And as I say, anything that has the same group name that is on text only will be grouped together. You may also like to add the frame rate. Click on Apply and OK. Then go into your tray and double click on River Tuner Statistics Server. You can use the on screen display zoom to change how big it is, and you can click on Raster 3D Plus to be able to change the size of the fonts. There are loads of options to customise this, but I'm just going to show you the basics. As you can see, all of the options that we selected before are now displayed in the top left of your game. Let's do some training just to demonstrate. No time, man. Another option you might be interested in is the on screen display fill. This puts a slightly translucent background on your statistics so that you can see them better. I prefer not to use this because it stops me from being able to see the game as well. Okay, so that's it. It's as simple as that. If you found this useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the little bell icon so that you get notified when I release a new video. And once again, just another great thanks to the uh, 
the 104 subscribers that I have. That's really great. Thank you. Um, I'm hoping to push out loads more videos uh, over the coronavirus isolation period. So please do get in touch. Leave a comment below if you've got an idea of what, what I can do, if there's anything you're struggling on.